Lawmakers are defending a series of anti-abortion bills. But they face little chance of clearing Democratic Governor Tony Evers. Rose Schmidt joins us live from the state capitol to explain. Rose? Yes, well, Democratic Governor Tony Evers has already promised to veto the proposal being dubbed as the Born Alive Bill. But Republicans are hoping to use that bill and others to rally their conservative bases heading into the 2020 election. It's really disappointing that we have to be here today to talk about this issue. Republican leaders are asking the Assembly Health Committee to pass the high-profile Born Alive Bill, under which doctors could face life in prison if they don't provide medical care to babies born alive after a failed abortion attempt. Not providing that, the care that that baby deserves would be illegal and taking that baby's life would be murder. Now, it's unclear whether this has ever happened in Wisconsin because state health officials say they don't keep track of such incidents. I don't think neither I or Senator Roth are up here saying that this happens routinely here in Wisconsin or anywhere else. However, the evidence is clear that it does occur. Infanticide is illegal. Abortion is already banned at 20 weeks in our state. These situations are simply not happening. Planned Parenthood and Democratic lawmakers call this proposal redundant and unneeded. Another proposal on the table would effectively cut off Medicaid funding for Planned Parenthood. The services being covered by Medicaid are not abortion. We're talking about preventative care, annual exams, cancer screenings. As Republicans vow to protect life, the other GOP proposals would prohibit abortions based on sex, race, and a potential diagnosis of Down syndrome or other disabilities, as well as requiring the state to ask a woman why she's getting an abortion and how many abortions she's had. These bills are being introduced right now to distract from Governor Evers' budget and in particular the incredibly popular health care provisions in that budget. The Assembly's Health Committee is scheduled to take a vote on these abortion bills on Thursday, and that would then clear the way for the full Assembly to take them up. Back Ro to you. Rose Schmidt, live at the State Capitol. Rose, thank you.